today is all about arrow diameters and the big question being does arrow diameter impact performance and penetration? The answer is yes, absolutely, in many ways, and I'm gonna break it all down for you. So I find the best way to, to explain this stuff is with visual representation. So here I have, this is just from my old arrow bucket. I don't use any of these anymore, but these are your three standard arrow diameters. There's a lot of diameters out there, but in general, we say there's three. So this is your standard, which is the biggest, this is a small diameter, 204, five millimeter, you'll hear it by multiple names, um, whereas this would be like your six millimeter. Um, and then the four millimeters, uh, 166, there's a lot of names, but this is your smallest, or micro is what they're generally called. So in general terms, you'll hear these called just a standard arrow, a small diameter, or a micro diameter, but um, particularly guys who shoot Easton's like to refer to them in millimeters. So there's that. So I'm gonna start this off with the big question, the question that matters most to bow hunters, does arrow diameter impact penetration? Absolutely it does, and I'm gonna show you how using a little bit of a visual representation here. So what I've done here is I've poked a nice tooth of the arrow hole here with an XL just in a clean piece of paper, and I've got here a cut off end of an arrow, just found beside my arrow saw there, and this is a sharp. Pretend this is like a really large diameter arrow and this is a micro, and of course it's it's an over the top exaggeration, but that's how we're gonna, we're gonna make this demonstration work. So it's as clear as possible. So both of these arrows have the same broadhead on the end, right? They both have this XL tooth of the arrow or whatever you're shooting. So what that means is that the size of the hole that is being poked in the target or in the animal is fixed. It's a constant, that's not changing. In this case, it's a one and three sixteenths tooth of the arrow. That whole size does not change regardless of what diameter arrow you're shooting. What does change now is what has to go through that hole. So when we have this large diameter arrow here, the hole's already poked because that's the front of your arrow. And when it's going through, look how much contact is on all sides of this. And I'm fully prepared for the jokes and the comments that are coming as a result of this video. But my demonstration stands. Look how much contact and friction is on all sides of that as that large diameter arrow goes through that hole, okay? So now we take our micro diameter or small diameter arrow and go through the same hole. Because remember, these, these arrows had the same broadhead on them, the same size hole was poked initially. This one is going through with much less friction, less contact, and less resistance. So that is, in a nutshell, how arrow diameter impacts penetration. Larger diameter arrows do not penetrate as well simply because there is more surface area as they go through that hole and more friction. So that covers the topic of penetration, but then that might make you ask if micro diameters penetrate better, then what is the purpose of a small diameter or a standard diameter? Why do they even make them? And why does anybody use them? All these arrows have a time and place. Starting with standard, there are certain cases where you're gonna be wanting to build an arrow that is just so heavy that you can't get that weight out of a micro. You know, if you're hunting dangerous game in Africa and you need a seven, eight, 900 grain arrow, your only options are gonna be, for the most part, a standard diameter arrow with a really heavy uh, GPI rating or grains per inch. That's a very standard metric of arrow measurement when you're comparing arrows, which is basically for every inch of carbon, how many grains does that weigh? That leads me right into my next point of another benefit of micro diameter arrows. If you were to take a standard diameter and a micro diameter arrow of the exact same GPI, so the same amount of weight per inch of carbon, your micro diameter arrow is gonna be stronger because it's more dense carbon. You're packing the same amount of weight into a smaller carbon tube, you're gonna have a stronger arrow. So that is another benefit of micro. Now, why might you shy away from micro? A lot of people don't like the bulky outsert systems that sometimes you're forced to use with micro. And I get it, I've shot those a lot and they do kind of suck to pull out of targets and uh, they, they can be a bit of a pain. I really do like the hit insert system which is actually what this micro has but in a deep six version. 
that's a great option but there's very few companies making deep six broadheads we don't even make them anymore so that's another con of the micro you basically have to use a half out or a two-piece outsert system to make those work so that's where the small diameter arrow comes into play it's kind of the best of all worlds you can use a hit insert so a completely hidden insert in these that's what i'm shooting this year it's the small diameter eastern axis with a hit insert but you're still getting a smaller diameter arrow than a standard so you're gonna benefit from increased penetration better flight in wind that's a big thing too smaller diameter arrows fly better in wind less surface area in a crosswind means there's less material to be pushed around it's as simple as that so the small diameter arrow kind of fits the needs of those who want that micro performance but there's just no need to shoot a standard diameter arrow so i'm a really big fan of the small diameter so then why does anybody even shoot standards other than the potential weight reason we talked about earlier there's a lot of archers who have been shooting standards forever because they are what they started shooting 20 30 years ago and they don't want to change and there's nothing wrong with that at the end of the day if you build any of these arrows properly and spine match them they're going to perform fantastic often this is all split in hairs past a certain point which we should do as archers but the biggest thing is not worrying about your diameter before you've worried about spine matching if you're not spine matching none of this stuff really matters all that much anyways now there are some bigger arrow diameters out there you'll sometimes see them called fat shafts but there are some seriously thick arrows out there those are often used in target archery and bigger arrow diameters are favored for target archers because they poke a bigger hole in the piece of paper a bigger hole in the piece of paper means you have a better chance of cutting that x-ring it's as simple as that so where bow hunters favor micro and small diameter arrows target archers favor standard or larger arrows so that's my breakdown all about arrow diameters and pros and cons of each and particularly the penetration aspect i'm a big believer in smaller diameter being better but that being said, I'm still shooting a small diameter, not a micro. So that just goes to show that you can make any system work for your setup as long as your bow is properly set up and your arrows are spine matched. They're all going to work great. It's important that you're shooting something you're confident with, not just what some guy on the internet told you to shoot. Thanks for watching.